Well, sometimes you get lucky and you pick up uh, something for 10 bucks at a garage sale. And more than that, for 10 bucks, you get two. So one of my neighbors, a couple of houses down was having a garage sale. So I went and looked at this chainsaws that he was um, selling. And you know, if I didn't have a tag, when I asked him how much, he said five bucks. So for five bucks, I got this Craftsman and a second Poan Pro. It's pretty much the same chainsaw, just in a, a different color. One is in Craftsman Red, the other one is in Poan Orange or whatever the color is. Um, there was an extra chain in there and everything so now it's just a matter of seeing if I can get them to work. Now the first thing that I noticed with this one is that it has a little bit of a rattle in here and it sounds like it's coming from the tank. So I'm assuming the filter may be free floating in there but I'll open it up and see. So as I suspected, the filter was free floating in there and uh, the reason for it, it looks like the fuel line here has a crack in it, just split in half oh, and the piece fell off. So clearly there's an issue with it. So what I'm going to do is figure out where the crack is and get rid of it. It still give me plenty of room to put the filter back and filter still seems to be well maybe not it looks like this is crumbling oh yeah yeah it's uh the fuel line is basically falling apart almost like was not intended for gasoline so we're gonna have to replace the whole fuel line okay so let's first take it apart see what we need to do to get to it Okay, now it's time to see if we can get it to start. Let's see, prime it a couple of times. Pull the choke out. It's a phone position. Oh. Okay, 
looks like it's working it just needs to be adjusted a little bit as you probably noticed when I turned the chainsaw on the chain was moving even though the trigger was not pressed that obviously means that the chainsaw needs to be adjusted that's a safety concern right there the proper way to do it in the proper order for most chainsaws would be you first adjust the low and then you adjust the T to stop the chain now, so now if you really decide to adjust the high as well then you need something like this like the stack um, most of them are you just set them on and they can read pretty well so how it works is this I'm gonna hold it right here so it doesn't fall off start it As you can see, it tells you exactly what the RPMs are as you adjust the high. You can check it from time to time and uh, make sure you get it to uh, what you want. Now, like I said, in most cases, the manual tells you what the maximum RPM should be. And most people try to keep it underneath that just to extend the life of the engine. So. This is uh, pretty much it.